From Waukesha South High School in UW-Madison to being an accountant, triathlete, and Olympic gold medalist, Waukesha native Gwen Jorgensen has been on quite the journey. And so has her family. Her mother and sister have written about it in a new book. Brittany Lewis takes us inside the pages of Go Gwen Go. And even, you know, she's just not as, I don't know, defined as some of these later ones. It could be the wall of frame magazine covers. This is an earlier one too. The medals from years past. Who knows what's over there? Or the shoes hanging on the wall. But it's fair to say the pride in the Jorgensen household, Gwen Sanity runs in our family, has reached the level of Gwen Sanity. Well, I'm Gwen's biggest fan. And so that shows itself in a variety of ways. Sometimes it's crazy outfits or signs. Elizabeth and Nancy Jorgensen are the sister and mother of Olympic gold medalist Gwen Jorgensen. We're in like elevators or in hotel lobbies and people are asking my little sister for her autograph. Like it just, it doesn't feel real. She won the gold in the triathlon in 2016. But it's the story of how she got there. Yeah, I think we were very happy with the way that the book turned out. They wanted to tell. It was a surprising story to go from um, CPA to Olympian. Together they wrote Go Gwen Go, a family's journey to Olympic gold. I came over every Monday yeah. and we worked for several chapter. hours every Monday. Writing and rewriting the journey that started in an unconventional way. Gwen was working as a CPA in Milwaukee and was recruited by USA Triathlon. Gwen at first said no. She said, I, I've got this job lined up. I know how hard it is to be a professional athlete. I don't think I've got what, what it takes. And they just kept after her. The recruiter knew what she was doing. After only two years of participating in triathlons, Gwen made it to the 2012 Olympic Games in London. She came in 38th after getting a flat tire, but that only elevated her goals. She decided she was going to go to the 2016 Olympics and she was just determined. Um, she made a, took a lot of big risks, um, quit her job, moved to Australia to be with a training group. Yeah, you can kind of see, you know, that there's an Elizabeth section. Through Elizabeth's voice and Nancy's and with help from Gwen's race reports, blogs and emails. I tell a lot of the factual information and then Elizabeth gives color commentary. And they take readers behind the scenes. I got a kick out of just getting as many selfies as I could with different <laughs> Olympians. And to the biggest moment. When she wins, it's this huge release of emotion for her, for our fans, for us, for the crowd. A win meaningful for her family and her fans. We've really gotten to know some fans who have been open with us about how much they've struggled with something, be that body image or inactivity or just like a lack of belief in themselves and how watching Gwen excel has pushed them to put on some running shoes and get out and start their own fitness journey and how she's inspired them to make a real positive difference in their lives. Through highs and some lows, Elizabeth and Nancy hope their book also inspires. Like if somebody reads this and thinks, wow, I have a story to tell, I also can write my family's story or I never knew that this was possible if you surround yourself with people who are there to cheer you on. And, al and also that theme of risk that, you know, you can't achieve great things unless unless you take some pretty big risks. As they've seen on the journey they've been on with the daughter and sister they are so proud of. It's humbling and it's also awe-inspiring that she's changed so many people's lives just by being the best person, being the best Gwen she can be. 